You're watching PTV. I want my PTV. You're watching PTV.
You're watching PTV. It's time for PTV Live. And now, here are the stars of PTV Live, Arnie, Doug, Ben, and Sherry. Hey everyone, welcome to PTV Live. How is everyone doing? I'm Doug. <laughs> I'm Ben. I'm Arnie. <laughs> and Sherry's Sherry can't hear any mem. He laid her own funeral, I swear. <laughs> What's going on? Anyway. Yeah, what's going on with Sherry? Where is she? Uh, she she'll be here. Okay, great. Well, I'm seeing some new names here in the chat. What's up, everybody? Thank you for being here, everyone. We really appreciate you all so much for joining us on a Monday night. Uh, it is great to have you all with us. We are looking forward to celebrating some pumpkin spice. You know? Yeah. Uh, tomorrow is Starbucks. They're having a big countdown, and you get to do a test of how pumpkin spice are you, and you answer these stupid questions that was really dumb. And um, <laughs> I'm like right in the middle, and I thought that was so stupid. Um, and then they said that the article I read is that their cold brew foam one is sold more last year than when they because they introduced it last year. It sold more than the hot latte. <laughs> But not that we're going to ever get cold anymore because we're, the climate's changing and we're going to be hot forever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm miserable. I'm just going to be a miserable curmudgeon. Yeah, shall we oh, wow. Doug, shall we call it a Dougism? That's Dugism? a Dougism. Curmudgeon. There you go. Curmudgeon. There you go. <laughs> I'm over it now. I thought that was bullying, but they say it's a term of endearment. <laughs> it is. So excited until you described it, Doug. Yeah. Well, Wanda. No. What the cold brew coffee? Yeah. You'll you'll have to excuse me. We had a we had a late dinner this evening, so I'm just finishing up here. I, I apologize, but I'm still hungry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ben mistimed his dinner. Yeah, we already ate and cleaned the kitchen, but for me to make cookies. Yep. Hello, Nancy O. Good to have you with us. Uh, we are having some fun tonight. Doug is going to be baking tonight. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I made one mention, though. There are some people that watch us that rarely ever comment. Uh, those who receive maybe a private text message by phone. And the people that I'm about to mention tonight are two of those people. Bill and Carolyn have been following us for quite some time. Oh, yes. Today marks their 50th anniversary of their first Date. Oh, so I wanted to. I just wanted to give them a shout out, Phil and Carolyn. Congratulations, we love you so much. And uh, you know, my parents almost had three years on top of it because they just had their 51st wedding anniversary, yeah, in February. So, wow, and then in 2018, September 2018, they went out, they met 50 years ago, so then they got married 1970. And then they start procreating. Uh, Pot of Foxhall is saying we need more dough. I'm I don't know what, sure what that is. means. Maybe he's referring to the dough that you're going to be making. I want to make uh, quick bread, some pump cake. But, that's but yeah, all I wanna he's do. baking some pumpkin spice snowball cookies tonight. Um, it's not quite the butter's in the thing. <laughs> It's not like the cake that Todd of Fox Hall just dropped a video yesterday. He did some um, a double chocolate. A duck is cloyingly sweet. Yep, definitely. <laughs> cloyingly. <laughs> but uh, he did um, he did a double chocolate Coca Cola cake. Yeah, and I, I didn't, was... didn't know it was going to turn out because the, the batter looked so loose when mm -hmm. he was putting it in the oven. But it turned out perfect. I told him it's okay. It's just going to be super. Moist. It's very. It was very moist. So, uh, but so anyway, that's that. And then, of course, today one of our our support channels, the Orlando guy, dropped another video. He's his ongoing series of. Uh, oh, it's about a train. Yeah, the Sun Rail in Central Florida. It's uh, episode number four. So go check it out. So uh, Nancy likes the Dougisms. Oh, what was that? What was that? 
Sounds like she, a baby doll. No, it was it was the girl. Oh, the girl. Um, okay. Look, <laughs> like you can sing voice pinkons. <laughs> <laughs> if you keep this up, I'm leaving people. <laughs> I don't need to take this abuse. <laughs> well, Sherry, it's good to see you. Yeah, I'm here. It's about it. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh wow. Okay. I'm sorry. Um we actually Sherry. Ben mm -hmm. did not watch the Hallmark movie. Did you gonna watch the Hallmark movie on Saturday night this week? No, I've not. It's recorded. I haven't watched it yet. Okay. Well we we won't give away too much of it, but uh Doug and I do want to do a quick review of it. I'll give you our number. A little daytime drama. And in the case of the movie, it was starring I forget Ryan the, Peavy and Sam. Right? Ryan Ryan Peavy and uh Chick with Bad Root Dye Job. <laughs> she really had she, they needed to really fix her hair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she had a serious bad, bad dye job. She's brown with blonde. I was just So other than that, she was really good. Um gave it a good solid nine. Yeah. The, really good. The, the concept is that Ryan Pavey is an actor that had been on the daytime drama that this woman writes for. They had a falling out. He left. And then she had to convince him to come back. That's it. I liked the movie. I gave it an eight. Doug gave it a nine. Yeah. So that was nine. The, oh, I, would, I was going to do a 10, but they tidied up things toward the very end way too quickly. That kind of irritated me. It, it did tidy up quickly, but yeah. the story the story actually was paced really well until like the last 10 minutes. Eight, five minutes. It was all of a sudden they just boom, and it was like, yeah. Ugh. So we're not so it was like a, was a rush to the finish line they, right at the end. Yeah, yeah. The, the misunderstanding only lasted 30 seconds. And then all of a sudden there was this, it was just some weird things that there was like, all toward the end, everybody just loved each other. It was really weird. But Sean, it was still good. Sean likes the intro calling it Soren over in Hallmark. <laughs> How does he know? He never goes to the park. <laughs> Nancy O thought the same thing. <laughs> that That's was the whole point awesome. of Hallmark. That was awesome. Very good. But yeah, so a little daytime drama. I, we definitely recommend that one. So if you've got uh, the friendly TV app, go ahead, hit the record button on it and watch it. You can fast forward through the commercials on it that way. Uh, we, we loved it, but... Um, Sorry, we won't watch any... Oh, yeah, Paul is very discriminatory. Oh, Paul's not watching any movies until Christmas, he, which is coming around very soon. Yeah, he discriminates Hallmark movies. He only does Christmas. But we refer to Paul as our Hallmark whisperer. He's very, very, very good at those at uh, telling what's going to happen. Okay, so we can... That, that we don't need to do. Yeah, so we've got the Hallmark... Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, ben... You've got that box of cookies that's there? Yep. Okay. What's new at Trader Joe's? <laughs> Is this what we're eating? Doug's already sniffing. Ben, yeah. it's a... It's called a double chocolate almond flour cookie. Sherry saw the box come out. She went, ooh, that looks good. <laughs> There it is. Uh, they're, they're crispy and crunchy, tiny little cookie things. The, the side of the box says this, just a bit more than a bite-sized cookie in this box is abundantly almondy and simultaneously copiously chocolatey. Is it, how many it's adverbs, no, that's, how that's, many that's, adverbs that's, do you need in one sentence? Copiously chocolatey. Yeah. An oh. almond flour base allows. For okay, it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily a Dougism, but I'm giving it that because copi copi copious. I say copiously a lot. Doug says copiously a lot. So that's okay. the price that's on the side of a box. Well, it it says it's an almond flour base. The an almond flour base allows for a gluten free ingredient list, and almond slivers add a bit of crunch to the otherwise soft biscuits. I think they're. I thought for sure they were crispy. 
They weren't. They're not. No, they were actually. They're not like doggy cookies. No, they were actually a little bit soft. Mm -hmm. Oh, these are. They're really ben, good. Ben, have you tried it yet? Oh my God. Not yet. So give it a try. Is that a cookie? It's not even large enough to qualify for as a bite. Oh no, it's a tiny, tiny little. I like them. Uh, he says, let's not bad. More they're, they're not completely crunchy at all. They are. He says, let's talk about more important topics of the tripe you're discussing right now. Uh, right now. 129 days until Disneyland. He's right. I actually have 127. 129 days until Disneyland. Um, we have that. That trip is going to be fun. But we also have someone here cruising for food. She just got back she just from got Disneyland. Back from house of mouse. She celebrated her birthday at Disneyland this year. Wanda, happy birthday. She drank and ate way too much. I don't know. <laughs> we saw her at Trader Sam's. She was we eating saw her and drinking like crazy. All over the place. It was fantastic watching you do that, Wanda. It was fantastic. And Lothar, we're surprised. Ben, it's not a dry cookie, is it? No. No, it's not. It is a soft cookie in a box. So, yeah, definitely a thumbs up to the double chocolate almond flour cookies. I don't have my thumbs up. Oh, he did, yeah, Doug doesn't have his thumbs up. That's, you did not prepare this. <laughs> I'm baked. That's what, ben, but that's what's new at Trader Joe's. Uh, <laughs> that is what's new at Trader Joe's. What's new at Trader Joe's? Richard wants to talk about boozing it up at the Grand Californian. Mm. Sounds a good idea to me. You know, <laughs> I did bake those uh, those milk and chalk those uh, chocolate chip cookie milk milk and cookie shots things. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were that good. That was a pretty good one. I liked that. But uh, they do like these cookie shots at the Grand Californian. They're really good. Uh, okay. So um, Doug is actually about to start baking some cookies. We want to make sure we give him enough time to put them together. And then also uh, have time to bake in the oven. So let's go ahead and uh, get started on that. Mm -hmm. You want to do that? Okay. So we're going to put this down here. Bag. here. Doug, hold on, Doug. Just a second. Ben, Sherry, take a look. Yes. Uh, we're going to move it to. Um, here we have this. Okay. So Doug has the recipe that he's putting together already. He's starting with uh, two sticks of butter. And actually, he's even starting by, uh, what are you, you're uh, presetting the heat on the oven? Yeah. He's warming up the oven. It's going to be 350 degrees. Can you see this? Typical for, um, for that, yeah. So yeah, here, um, let, me move, let me make that a little smaller so you can see that really well. Okay, so he is starting with the two sticks of butter, and then to that he's going to be adding one cup of powdered sugar. So, Ben, do you have any questions about what's going on? And anyone um, else, actually, if anyone has any questions about the recipe, feel free to ask here in the chat, and we will do our best to answer any questions you have regarding the recipe. Uh, it's it's a little small for me because it's the the screen is so far away, so... I, I, I can't see it from here, but it okay. looks like it's cow butter at room temperature, powdered sugar, pumpkin spice, vanilla, vanilla extract, yep. salt, pumpkin puree. Yep. Not pumpkin pie filling. So it's got to be real pumpkin. Is there any booze in it? Not this time around. I'll be taking these into the office too. So, and so four ounces, one cup of powdered sugar. Richard's asking, is it salted or unsalted butter? You always, 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 always bake with unsalted butter. No, if, I disagree. If <laughs> you do bake with salted butter, do not add any salt to your cookies. Yeah. But every recipe, if it says softened butter, it's always. So, yes. Hey, Jonathan, yes. it's We want it to be fall now, so we're starting with pumpkin spice. It turns out... I believe, Doug, you told me that uh, Starbucks is going to release their pumpkin tomorrow. spice latte tomorrow. Okay, so what's oh. While he does that, I'm going to mix up a pumpkin spice martini. Oh! Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm making a pumpkin spice martini, Sherry? Yes. yes. What's next? But I don't have martini glass, so <laughs> it's a third of a cup of of cream. Of cream. Two ounces of pumpkin spice liqueur. And this one is from Trader Joe's actually that I got. And it calls for cake vodka, but I didn't go to the store to buy any. So I'm just using straight old plain vodka. Arnie, we can't hear you. I'm sorry about that. There we are. There you go. I had to uh, give Doug uh, some instruction here. So it's two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. Two ounces. Of pumpkin spice liqueur. And I'm only putting in one ounce of vodka. It calls for cake vodka, but I didn't have any. So I just, I just use regular old vodka. Oh, is that a new thing of whipped cream? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. And then dust it with cinnamon. Yep. Harry, that looks delicious. Doug is going to continue with his recipe right now. It's two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. And he's put in half a teaspoon of salt. And, and you mixed it with this one already? Uh -huh. And then there's also a, a teaspoon of vanilla. You need the extract? I'll get it. Okay. So how's the martini, Ben? Uh, I'm waiting for Sherry no, to have ahead. hers. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Uh, L'chaim. <laughs> um, it's good. It's good. I'm not, well, I'd say I'm not a big spirits drinker. Oh, okay. Anytime booze hits a drink and all that, it's like, eh, it's, it's okay. But the whipped cream is nice, and it does, the bean seems to think it sounds good. The liqueur is really nice. No alcohol drink should have more than three ounces of booze. Well, this only has what one ounce or two, one ounce of one ounce of vodka and two ounces of, of the liqueur. Of the liqueur. So there you go, three ounces of booze. The Orlando guy wants to know: Does it taste like a nog? Uh, what does the nog taste like? Ben does not drink eggnog, so let me uh, let me get mine together and see. I'll let you know. <laughs> this has got heavy whipping cream and whipped cream. So it's definitely creamy. <laughs> there Both you are go. saying you guys would make me. Good grandparents, you make cookies and you go to Disney World. Please adopt me. <laughs> Jerry? Oh, I love that. It does taste like a, a nice thick eggnog, only pumpkin flavored. Okay, so pumpkin. So Doug has just added three tablespoons of pumpkin puree. It's canned pumpkin. You got to make sure it's not the pumpkin pie filling, but just the straight pumpkin puree. <laughs> Sherry's eating just the whipped cream now. <laughs> so Doug's putting that together. Wow, that is that is some mixing going on. Yep. It's uh somewhat loud. Nancy O says those things look great. Never heard of cake vodka. I've not heard of it before either, and I didn't have time to go look for it, so I just used plain vodka. I'm sure vanilla vodka would taste good with this too. That is true. Who doesn't like whipped cream? That's looking really good, Doug. So what else? What is in there? So the next ingredient, the, the last ingredient you're going to put in is going to be the... Feel out what the flour. ingredients are. So far, you've got one cup of butter, okay. two sticks, 
one cup of powdered sugar. Four ounces, okay. Two teaspoons of pumpkin spice. Yes. A teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of pumpkin puree. Now three cups of all-purpose flour. And then we and put the... Uh, and then you, then you fold in the fold nuts. Fold nuts, okay. Sean says that Smirnoff makes a cake vodka. Oh, that's a little too funny. Hey, Donna. Honestly, Hi, Donna. Does it taste good, Sean? Whoa. Sean's not much of a drinker. Oh, okay. Donna did this mega stream yesterday, almost three hours long, where she did some keto recipes. My favorite one that I saw is the bacon wrapped mozzarella cheese sticks oh, yeah, everything tastes better with bacon mm, that sounds delicious i know i know everything's better with bacon okay so doug he measures his his flour by weight we talked about this a couple of weeks ago when we did a recipe we baked a cake and doug likes to weigh the flour because when he weighs it you get a more precise measurement <laughs> Did you see what Lothar said about whipped cream? Yeah, that every everyone what would No, in, <laughs> in Canada they call it kinky kinky milk. What? Whipped cream. Oh. <laughs> oh, very, very funny. Very funny. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, stop my her turning sees the word kinky. So <laughs> <laughs> Every time he sees the word Canada, he thinks of South Park. <laughs> okay, so we have, in this case, we have Doug there with uh, the flour. Okay, it's about two and a half cups of flour. It's either 12 or 13 ounces of flour. Okay. Okay, so he's putting it in by measurement right now. That's about six and a half. <laughs> Richard's disappointed you didn't make your own whipped cream. I didn't have time. Oh, I Otherwise, love I would have. Today is not a day for me to be... Uh... Okay. I'm not in the best of moods. Let's put it that way. Yeah, 12 okay. ounces. Okay, great. I had my COVID booster on Saturday and slept a lot yesterday and made the mistake of going to work today and couldn't get out of there till one o'clock. So I'm not very happy right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and mute our end while Doug, are you just gonna stir it in with uh, by hand? Yes. Oh, he's gonna do this by hand. Okay. Holding it in. So he's gonna fold Holding it in. He's folding in the flour. Yeah. Well, you don't have to. It's just so <laughs> already toasted. I'm using pecans. Oh, ooh, that looks good. Yeah, ooh. we do like pecans. Well, any type of roasted nuts, pecans, peanuts, walnuts, like almonds. Mm. Don's going to make us a pumpkin roll. I can get oh, that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, definitely. What are you doing? You making another one? Yep. Ooh, Sherry's having another one. Oh, very good, Sherry. But this one's going to be without the vodka. I'm just going to do the just the liqueur. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, I I would want to see what it would taste like without the without the vodka. Yeah, that's what I'm. <laughs> vodka yeah. sometimes cuts through things. I know it mixes really well with some drinks, but then there are times when all you want is something smooth and the vodka just kind of like cuts through everything. It's like, uh, a little too much. Donna saying, that, you say fold in one more time. <laughs> <laughs> it says fold it in. <laughs> ben Kit says hi. Uh, hi. <laughs> hi, Kit. What? Yeah, no roasted pine nuts from Doug's Pine Cones this time. <laughs> so doug how many cookies will this yield i have no idea i have absolutely no idea <laughs> he he changed the recipe a bit has because uh well just because we wanted to do that he always changes up recipes on different various things and in this case we're not quite sure of the yield it also depends on the size uh scoop you use 
We're using a somewhat smaller oh. scoop too. Yikes. That's a lot of That's cinnamon. That's the way my day's been. <laughs> Sherry, just, Sherry had a cinnamon avalanche over here. Oh boy. So let me clean up my mess. That's flour gets everywhere. And nothing's worse than burnt flour. Yeah. Are you making a hot dog fold or a hamburger fold? <laughs> We're just folding it in. So that 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 yeah. dough, the cookie dough looks really good. The uh, just so you know, the pumpkin martini over here tastes better without the martini in it. <laughs> just the cream the and the, the liqueur. The, the, the is cream really and the good. liqueur is perfect, so at now, least for me. So now Doug is going to go ahead and start dishing them out. Here, let me show you exactly what he's doing there. And is is that uh, parchment on a cookie sheet? It yeah. sure is. Hey, I knew something. And since this has no <laughs> leavening, it's not going to splurt and splat all around. <laughs> I don't know why I do not find that humorous. So he's he is dishing them out right now. Um, so we're not exactly sure how many cookies are going to be in this batch. I'm guessing we're going to have probably about they're a little four, small. At least four to five dozen cookies will be in this batch with the disher that Doug is using. We have various sizes of disher that we use, uh, but this one is a. Uh, it's a scoop, not a disher. It's a disher. It's a disher, Sherry. It's a disher. It's a scoop. It's a scooper. It, you know, you say scooper, and I think of a litter box. Don is asking, "Do pumpkin snowballs ship well?" Asking for a friend. <laughs> uh, actually, they supposedly do. If they if they're shipped in popcorn, unsalted popcorn, oh, just so airplane that friend. popcorn. They do. <laughs> these are really, really tiny. Yes, what? they're very mm -hmm. tiny. Don, Donna right. said, do pumpkin, do, do, do pumpkin snowballs ship well asking for a friend? And Sean said, I'm that friend. <laughs> <laughs> Scooper. <laughs> um, so this, uh, po this dough did not require any refrigeration? No, 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 this particular recipe does not require refrigeration. A lot of oh, that's interesting. How many cookie recipes that you use regularly call for a refrigerated dough? Probably 75% of what we make. It's really hard to find cookies that are called make and bake. <coughs> uh, does, does I'm gagging, does I'm hacking on a bone. <coughs> Um, I really don't like that. Um, there is recipes, but a lot of the recipes that I seem to want to make or make, they're uh, chill and bake, not make and bake. So Sean is asking a question. Isis. He says he no longer wants the cookies. So what is the question, Sean? Oh, no, you don't want these. These have lots of uh, disease all over them. So sorry. No more for you. <laughs> so Because <laughs> there definitely spittle went all over them. Oh, my I, I couldn't control myself. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, sorry. We won't be shipping this special. No, this one won't go out to anybody. But the recipe will be posted. You can bake these for yourself. <laughs> Without Doug's spittle. Yeah, no spittle. Want to know when a new Doug is in shirt is going to be available in the PTV t-shirt shop. Never. <laughs> I have to create one and it's not going to happen. I didn't get approval to this to happen. So. No, he no, I didn't. <laughs> wow. Oh, Sean's question was, does the food processor have a dough function? Mm, no. 
No, it doesn't actually. It doesn't just have a food. We have uh, two buttons on our food processor. One is pulse. on and oh. the other is pulse. Food processors don't. I mean, if you're talking about KitchenAid, it has a, you know, you could do attachments to it, but not. Donna wants a Dougism shirt too. Over my <laughs> dead body. <laughs> Doug, you're more popular than you realize. <laughs> And the way you speak is unique. Yeah. Paul says that you can keep the batch, by the way. <laughs> I, I don't want this. I had a lot of DNA flu in here. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I had phlegm. It, it was gross. You don't have to share, Doug. Thank you. We could hear it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Donna's stream was quite ambitious. There was a lot happening on it. He does. She's but, full of ambition. Yeah, but great, great stuff. Oh, Sean says that his has a dough. His processor has a dough function. It looks like that dough would have really made it well in it. So, uh, oh, you'd have to, Sean. Maybe you can try it sometime and see what you think. So, you know, maybe. Or, what type of uh, what type of food processor does Sean have? Yeah, because I'm not, when I think of food processor, I think of pulverization and you have nuts in here and you don't want nut dust. So I don't know how that would work because food processors is the blade. So I don't know about that. So <laughs> I give that a big fail. Well, Michelle the Quilter wants a shirt that says just a skosh. Just a skosh? Yes. Just a skosh. You could put a bunch of hashtags on the back of a shirt that has Dougisms on it. Yeah, we could just put a bunch of Dougisms on the shirt. Oh, cuisine art. That that makes sense. Yeah. Are, ours is a cuisine well, art. Is a cuisine ours art. is a cuisine art, yes. No, there's no dough function to it. I think he might be talking about something else. <laughs> I just... Yeah, I think this is a lot of little bolly balls. <laughs> yep. There's the other one. So yeah, this uh, this cookie sheet is just about ready to go in the oven. Are you gonna pat them down at all? Or just little, little snowballs. Just little... Okay. So I'll probably give them a little bit so they don't roll all over the place. So okay, so let me... yeah, so they can get tight because they're small. This is kind of like a um, almost cr it's going to be like a shortbread because there's no leavening agent whatsoever. It's butter and sugar. Okay. Pumpkin. So now he's going. He heat. He heated the oven to three fifty. You line this the pan with parchment and then you set that aside in the mixing bowl. You put everything together. You add the flour and the nuts, mix gently to combine. You use a one inch scoop to portion the snowball cookies. See? Then you bake them for 15, 13 to 15 minutes. So well, I'm going to probably go 12. Yeah. Not, I don't trust that. He tests, we, we always to test to make sure. Than... Yeah, not to mention these are smaller. So they could have the potential of burning if you don't, if, if you don't uh, take it at the burning. lower timing. Okay. So there we are at that oven. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, let me turn this back so that we can. Oops. I think I got to pick that up. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I just dropped my stylus. Oh, heaven forbid. <laughs> what I used. This is my mouse. Uh, oh yeah. Oh Doug, can you turn on the light? It's getting a little dark in here. We have some uh, some of our studio lighting in here, just in event that it started to get dark. And there we go. Yeah, yeah much better. Overhead lights might be too much. Too much. Yeah. So Doug give, is give it a shot. Give it a shot. Overhead lights. Yeah, give it a shot. Let's check it out. No, that's not too much at all. It's not too much. Okay. No, no, it's not. Okay, well, I can soften it just a bit. There we go. So anyway, uh, yeah, they 
one this thing they look like italian wedding cookies they're uh, mexican wedding cookies like mexican exactly wedding what cookies they are too. yeah but i has a little bit of pumpkin for moisture like yeah, yeah. and yeah. instead of and spiced everyone has their own way of describing those cookies they're mexican wedding cakes they're russian tea cakes yeah. italian wedding cakes there's a lot of names. You know, yeah, but maybe you could use two cameras next time. We actually tried. Yeah, failed miserably. But the other camera that I had would not be recognized. We couldn't get it to get recognized by um, the uh, by the system. So we'll try it again with another camera. Yeah, we'll worry about kitchen when it gets a lot cooler. Yeah. So. Right now we're having cooling issues. Season's great. There's more sunshine, please. Hello, Jim. Let's see. Can we get some more sunshine, please? <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of ours. We want more rain. Oh, I want clouds and rain yeah. and inclement weather. Yeah, we can just call them biscuits. So Doug is going to continue rolling these out. Uh, Sherry, did you get anything this week? I did. You did? Okay. So, it'll roll. I will. It'll roll. So anyway. You know, you, I, test and you test, sometimes you just have a glitch. Oh, well. I got a box of Dollar Tree pumpkins that are like this. They're covered in either blue, black, or orange gingham. And what I'm doing with them is taking the stem out because I wanted to make my own, but the styrofoam, plain styrofoam molds were like $3 each. And I thought, well, I'm not going to do that. And so I just take off the fabric that comes that it comes with and it's a plain white foam pumpkin huh. and I cover it with my own my own fabric and this is two of the ones that I've done and then you glue the stem back in place oh now I like the choices of fabric you have much better than what came with them yeah but those are really inexpensive alternatives for me yep. so I got a box of those we got a bunch of stuff to do centerpieces for retirement party for one of Ben's doctors. Oh, there's goes the pumpkin rolling over. Ben, did you have a story about that at all? Can you say it? Um, this, can you refresh my memory? It was uh, that Dr. Vora said. You're not supposed to say their names. Uh, gosh, what? What did she I don't say? Remember. I don't recall, Arnie. I'm sorry. I, That's okay. We'll, we'll I write it down. At any rate, we got these little these little buckets, and I will be putting a piece of rope around the top edge with an anchor right in the center. And then inside, we're going to be doing a we, mast. After putting some foam in the middle to bait as a base for the mast, and then we're creating some sales oh i got the wrong bag that's okay we're creating sales with uh sheets of paper that and we purchased at michael's they're gonna look like this when they're done oh sherry i like that and then they'll be filled with chips ahoy cookies and and lifesavers and individually wrapped lifesavers so we got that I also got just today a package that I'd been waiting on. I haven't even opened it up yet, but there are disposable masks to have for work. And they're they're different. Oh, these are cute. Oh, there's yeah. that one. And they, they do have the lining uh, or the, the little wire in. The nose, the nose bridge, bridge so you yeah. can shape it to your face. So there's that one, which is well, different. Oh, little feminine. There's that these are one. all little feminine for me. I would not wear these. Well, nobody's asking you to. There's that one. This Lots and lots of fruits. 
Well, you know, they, they're, they're, yeah, those are they're all fruits. Fruit. Yeah, they're all fruits and veggies. I think they're all fruits. Oh, I like this one. Well, that one's kind of tropical. Yeah. Yeah, Smelly Cake 77 says that they're very cute. So I'm, welcome to, welcome I'm making to the show. one cup of powdered sugar in a thing, uh, a container, so I can roll. So, And the last thing that I got Oh. By next. That, oh, testing. It's, it's a test kit at home. Rapid test for, for me for home. For COVID-19. Because oh, okay. at the school I'm at, we now have, I think it's 10 cases um, among the students and one staff member. It's, it's a common occurrence right now. Hey, Benji. Hey, Benji's here. Let's go to the park drop the video this week too. He had um, a trip to Great America with his friend Joe the Butcher. So I'm doing a cup and a teaspoon. Oh, Doug. Show him what you got, Ben. Let me get this down. So yeah. Well, we will when we get to that segment. I actually got some hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works too. So, so a cup of powdered sugar with another teaspoon of pumpkin spice. He's got he yeah he's got the pumpkin spice and the powdered sugar together so that he can coat the cookies when they come out of the oven. They gotta cool a little bit because they're gonna be like ooh. Yeah. And I got a mango swirl, a sunshine and lemons, and a pumpkin cupcake. Um, hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer. I tried the other ones. Let me try it, see what the mango one is like. Mango. It's a mango swirl, yeah. A it mango. says, be a, be a nice human is the name of it. Yeah. Ooh. It smells like the produce aisle at Safeway. You want to smell the mango? I can <laughs> smell it from here. <laughs> and then it's sunshine and lemons and pumpkin cupcake. So those are the three I got to have in my, uh, my bag. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, one of those is yours. Oh, I got a pumpkin cupcake. Oh, nice. Very nice, Ben. Yeah, but this definitely does not smell like I've gone uh, produce shopping. No, it smells like you went to the bakery. <laughs> yeah. Or like I went into, uh, yeah, like I went into a bakery. Mm -hmm. I love the smell of pumpkin cupcake. Yeah. <laughs> Um, uh, Richard says, uh, smell my hands. Darn it. <laughs> Doug is how much more time on those cookies, Doug? Three I have more minutes tell, on the first batch. I have to tell all of you, I thought of Doug this morning and I laughed out loud because one of the people that I follow, one of the women that craft YouTube channels that I follow had a quick, what was it? A quick pine cone Christmas craft. <laughs> hey, Tennessee bear. <laughs> Made me think of him. <laughs> those, those pine cones are infamous. Yeah. Are, when are we going to, are we going to see them at any time soon? Absolutely. When, when we start getting all the fall decor. If I don't out. get all the abuse. All the fall is <laughs> coming out, so uh, yeah, you'll be seeing uh, pine cones soon. Okay. Do you have a pair of scissors handy? I forgot to bring mine down. Um, scissors. I just need a little. I don't. Well, then this is what I'm going to do. Okay. Pine so, cones. um. Yes. Oh. Ben decided that he wanted to have a candle portion of the show tonight. So we created the scent of the week. So yeah. What uh, is the scent this week, Ben? This is a white barn candle. 
the name of the, the fragrance here is Pumpkin Vanilla Cream. Ooh. So we're going to go ahead and stick it in our, our little pumpkin uh, candle holder. And I've got my little uh, my taser here. <laughs> I have a, I've got a lavender one, not a lavender, a lilac one upstairs that takes me back to childhood. And we are going to burn this candle right now. Do you guys remember the lilac bushes Dad had on? Well, no, you were too little. It was 60th. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, Sherry, Sherry's trying time. to bring us back to when she was a little girl. When I was eight years old. Eight, nine, ten. I was eight. You guys were born. Yeah. So you wouldn't remember because we knew Sherry, people turned Outlaw two. Geek wants to make sure that you have the fire extinguisher handy. <laughs> I'll throw vodka. Can I throw vodka on it? Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> I've got a bottle of vodka here. You've got a can of whipped cream, too. That'd probably I be better. I also have a bottle of water, so... But we're just going to let this melt a little bit and let the uh, fragrance come overwhelm us. Gotcha. You smell it yet? Well, we're Sherry, yet. Sherry's putting her face in the fire. We are just about here at the, uh, the cookies are just about out of the oven. So it's a, what, how much time is there, Doug? Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> So let's go ahead and uh, check it out. I'll go ahead and turn this around over here. You can see Doug. Uh, no burnt bottoms, no soggy bottoms. There we go. They kind of went in the way they went in. Oh my gosh, those look good. They're, well, so far they're okay. I mean, so what he's going to do is going to cool them off very, how much time do you need to have them cool off? Um, when they're not molten, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably about 10 minutes we're going to have them cool off. He's putting the the second tray in the oven. It is 13 minutes, people, in our oven. Okay, so 13 minutes is it. So 13 yeah, those, minutes. Those I'm going to let them cool for about five minutes, and then I'm going to toss them in this uh, powdered sugar and pumpkin spice yeah, sure. Dusty. Yeah, those snowball cookies, you can't <laughs> let them over bake otherwise. They all dry and nasty. Yeah. <laughs> Richard, I do not really care for that particular name for a segment. What's that? Ben's a bit windy this week instead of scent of the week. <laughs> That's just a little rude. <laughs> I could do that. Okay, well, whatever is whatever DNA I splooged on it, guess what? Oh my it gosh. got cooked off. Yeah. Yes, it did. It did. Hello, DNG Explorer is another one of our support channels. You guys didn't see me cough all over it, so we have. Um, we heard it. He's in Explorer is here in our stream tonight. Sup, guys? More sunshine. Please. Live DNG. tonight at seven p seven p.m. Eastern, four p.m. Pacific, and DNG is on Wednesday nights, eight p.m. Eastern. 5 p.m. Pacific. So. so I'm going to let this cool for probably about 10 minutes because they're really, really, really hot. But I want them still a little bit more warm so I can toss them in my... D&G, please send us your calendar. We want to get together midway some sometime for lunch. Yeah, we have a surprise. That's, for coming, that's coming I've from got, Sherry. I've got something special for you. Yeah, with my consultant on it. So Sherry has a surprise for DNG Explorers. And I've yes, picked all the accoutrements that go on it. It will be documented. So <laughs> people don't know what accoutrements are. No one uses that word. Well, they should. It's a very good word. It is a good word. Gosh, Richard. Yeah, you don't do live streams. No. You do fantastic edited content. You just dropped a video yes. today. It is a series, fourth in a series on the Sun Rail in Central Florida. Go check it out. I'm not going to want to miss it because actually there was this one section in there about uh, the the record store, Rock and Roll Heaven, I believe. It looks like a fantastic place. I haven't place. watched it yet. Yeah, just a fantastic place. You'll want to check that out. 
Oh, I'm Richard crazy. says, pronounce accoutrement uh, correctly, Doug. Accoutrement. <laughs> that's what it is. It's, you could pronounce it a couple different ways. That's, that's the anglicized version yeah. of it. <laughs> People know how to spell it. Like buschetti, everybody knows what that is. So well, we have in these Oreos? Yes, we are going to have these Oreos. Ben found these, what, about a week and a half ago? Yeah, something like that. They are salted caramel brownie. They're not going to taste anything like that. Wow. And we have them here in a little bag. Ouch. See, Sherry just had uh, a hot glue gun uh, injury. Oh, that would be me all the time. Ooh, these are yeah. Okay, these are the salted caramel brownie. Lick them, and they taste very salty. Yeah, they, actually, if you look at here, let me uh, let what? me look closely here. If you take a That's look at right, it. they do have salt on on the yeah, outside. lick them. white speckles on it. Yeah. I'm not gonna oh. lick an Oreo, Doug. You know, I had oh. I had the opportunity of being able to have lunch in a private office today, and the woman whose office it was said, "Yeah, you can use my office, just don't lick my desk." Nope. Nope. Just don't lick my desk. Nope. Yeah. Doug does not like them. Nope. I'm no, gonna... I do. No. You know what? I really like them. I like them. I, I do too. I, I like these. The salt, you, the cookie, you get that sweet and savory thing going. Nope. You know what? I love these, salt and chocolate these, anyway. These kind of have like know. a pancake quality to them. Mm -hmm. They do. They, they smell like maple syrup. They smell like breakfast. They have a pancake quality. Mm -hmm. I like these. I love them. Yeah, Richard's right. Big Doug, thumbs down. Doug does not like crunchy cookies, but I will have another one of these little chocolate almond ones from Trader Joe's. See, I'm one of those that loves to have a nice piece of dark chocolate cake, like the one that we make, with potato chips. And then for me, the issue is, do I want my last taste to be salty or do I want my last taste to be sweet? Ben, Smelly Cakes is asking, is the center caramelly? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the flavor is there, but it's not ooey it's gooey not, like not. regular caramel. No, but the caramel kind of finishes finishes like a maple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. and I think I think the salt com, uh, put into that is what adds to the quality of the pancake kind of approach. Mm, I love the salt on it. Oh, Sebastian, it, it, does, it, it does require perfect. a diet coke chaser. I hate the whole salted caramel trend. Caramel is already salty. Why do we need to add salt? But oh, um, that was good. Wendy B says, "Me too, Sherry." Salted dark chocolate Lind bars all day long. What? Salt salted dark chocolate Lint bars. I have not heard of such a thing. Lint nope. is. Uh, I know lint. I know what the lint candies are, but I've not seen one of those. Wendy, you seem to have piqued Sherry's interest there. Okay, I know what I'm looking for because <laughs> being diabetic, I have to watch sugar intake and and you know and carb Carbs. intake but dark chocolate is one of those things that i can i can have to t you know appease my sweet tooth without feeling guilty or seeing my my numbers go way up well, wendy says you can find them in grocery stores hmm. and yeah i agree with benji sea salt chocolate absolutely there's this wonderful uh sea salt soiree chocolate from uh, Ghirardelli. I love this stuff. It's fantastic. I've had that. That one's good. That one is very good. Um, I wanted to mention also, some people have been asking, how about your patio? What's going on with your patio? Yeah. For those of you that have been watching our show for the last few months, you know that Doug and I have been having, oh, well, let's just say some frustrations with trying to get a patio in our backyard. One thing after another. Well, it was finally poured. And uh, we have it in the backyard right now out there. It's, it's nice and clean. Doug got a pressure washer and washed off the, uh, the top layer of what they call the, re was it releasing agent or release powder? For the <laughs> All right. 
I, I missed something, Ben. You're laughing about something. <laughs> no, the, whatever that is, you guys are talking so much about the patio. Well, you know, it's it's the matter of the patio. We uh, we wanted to have this patio done. It's a we've got a nice stamp on it, uh, but you'll see the end result. It's in. It's part of the moment of groovy tonight, so you don't want to miss that. So you didn't get mouse ears stamped on it no that's gonna be the other landscape feature we're gonna do yeah that's gonna be it's gonna be you can see it from google earth yeah once you once we get the uh the lawn it's about in. by a 17 feet big mickey head it's gonna be plastered in the dead center of our backyard and it's gonna be that fake grass so we're gonna have the patio a giant mickey head and we're gonna have raised beds as well six garden beds raised because we have a water problem we only should be doing water for growing food cleaning and drinking and cooking exactly mar you're right there is a drought and that's why we got rid of the lawn we in the backyard. Are, we actually want to get rid of the front but we got to figure out what we want to do yeah as a matter of fact our water district our local water district is giving up to a thousand dollars depending on the size of your yard for giving up your lawn in exchange for drought oh my god Lansar, that's exactly oh, what we're wow. doing we're gonna get the sealer for it yeah i just need to go to the place because i want to find out we get a good stuff hey we gave up our lawn long ago ben yeah what was that sherry we, we gave, gave up. up our lawn long ago uh, yeah yeah you know well what? the backyard we gave up the ghost yeah we just need to get just somebody in to, to give us a nice looking yard that's all yeah but yeah, so we can get up to a dollar per square yard, per foot uh, for your yard if you give up the lawn in your front yard uh, for drought tolerant landscaping. Oh, stop rubbing it in. It has this not raining here in five days. We haven't had measurable rain, measurable like rain since April. Yeah. We are so dry that, you know, if you friction of your thighs, start, <laughs> it'll cause, cause a fire. <laughs> Oh, can I tell you something rude? Who can I tell mean? you? I, I no, have to it's right. bone okay, down guys. and dry. So I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be very honest with you. I was very upset with my doctor. She responded to me about why I was bumped up to the top of the list for uh, a COVID booster, and of course, part of it had to do with the medication that I'm on that suppresses my immune system. But before she said that, she says, well, it's probably more the obesity level that you're at. Oh, how rude. That's as really well rude. As, the, um, as well as the immunosuppressed medication you're taking. <laughs> she says, and it's those, darn, it's those darn BMI. Don't work chafing. It is not fun when it's. Humid and you're at the park. Jean says no drought here in Delaware or on the East Coast. No, no, no. no. Everyone survived that. The the north uh, the the northeast. Wow. We have well, hey, there was there was a region in Tennessee oh. that had a, a stalled weather cell where it dumped 17 inches in 24 hours. I'm so of jealous. Water. I saw awful. that on Instagram. I feel awful about that. So one jealous. Family that I, one family that I heard about where it was a single mom and she and her kids were actually hanging on a clothesline trying to ride it out. Oh, my god! And her two-year-old was swept away. Oh. And they don't know what happened to, to him. Oh. Just broke oh, my heart. Out of I, I, yeah. Doug is now coating here. Let me bring this down here. He's now coating the cookies in powdered sugar. I need more room. Huh. Those are more room ones. for what? Toss. He wants to be able to have enough room in the box to toss the cookies in the powdered sugar. Yeah, Gene G Jr. says it's been raining there for a, for the past few days. Okay, we have yeah. oil pipelines, we have gasoline pipelines. People, we need water pipelines. <laughs> well, this is well, not cool. Well, there are water pipelines. It's just that they go to Southern California. Yeah, yeah, they're hogging our water. Doug is coating right now the little pumpkin spice. No. 
And since I sullied my mouth with those chocolate things, I don't know if this is going to taste good. <laughs> Benji says no tossing cookies. <laughs> Dad, you need the big... You need the big stainless steel pan that I used to toss mine in. Oh, those big bins, like the ones that you get, like these big chafing dish things. I remember. You know how we they, we came upon those, don't you, Arnie? No, I don't. Were they empty? Dad, Dad used to work for a company called Boyder and Johnson. They did. They had a catered meal. The caterers left those two bins behind, and one of the long stainless steel spoons that we have long handle stainless steel spoons we have really and the boss told dad to go ahead and take them home and that's how we got them Those, we, the big u.s ones no not the u.s it's the long handled dad worked for them what in the late 50s early 60s we we've had those spoons for that long when I was, spoons and pans for over before you years. guys were born oh my gosh so wow. we've had them we've had them what, 60 years at least because that was before i mean i was little little oh my gosh that's okay. so that's how long we've had them doug is just about done with the first batch of cookies here yeah i gotta go over i gotta i need my Don beep, beep. donna is asking if it would be inadvisable to put the lid on and shake the cookies to coat them or are they just delicate? They're too fragile. I think They're the cookies are too fragile for that. You don't, they are. not a tossing thing. You just kind of roll them. Plus, you have to get <laughs> Look, Big says, so Doug's cookies are bacon shake? <laughs> no. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they are not. These are very delicate cookies, actually. But uh, they're looking very good. I don't know how they're going to taste. I need scissors. Okay, should we try them? Okay, we're gonna try these. Okay, here we go. So here we go. The, uh, I'll take this crunch, this one that I broke. Show, here we go, right there, you can see what they So look they like. are pumpkin, pumpkin spice. Here we go. These are delicious. I wish they were more pumpkin spicy, but they're a little good. bit more cinnamon, a little more cloves. Well, that's that's the point of test baking. Exactly. Oh, get a recipe. There, there, there it is. is. There it is. You got to wait for it. It's a lot of butter. You got to wait for the butter to uh, finish on your tongue, and then suddenly you get the spice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But it could still use a little bit more spice. I would put a tablespoon instead mm -hmm. of. Two teaspoons, but I have an overdefined palate, so I like my stuff spicy. Yeah, but uh, yeah, great for coffee. They're like little donuts. Those cookies would be perfect for a Jack Skellington face. Absolutely. I bet when they permeate, <laughs> good idea. They permeate like they sit for a little while. The spice will start blooming. Well, I'll tell you this: if anyone from my office is watching, you're getting these. You'll be getting some pumpkin cookies soon. <laughs> they no, I didn't to, cough all over work? them. Arnie, they allow you to share like that at work? Yeah. You might want to individually bag them, so... We're not allowed to yeah. share like that. Yeah, my office is the same way. If you're going to take something in, it has to be individually bagged and then passed out. I've been sharing mostly candy lately. So. These are actually well, really be amazing coffee. Yeah, these would some be fantastic. Some people don't be they they spiced up enough, but they're they're very Yeah. Would I be making these again? Yes. <laughs> there is someone from my office watching. I just got a text message and all they said was hooray. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, considering that it's been so long since you've done any baking and taking it into the office because you haven't gone into the office. Yeah. Very subtle, but it's actually very. But they're very, very good. they're very delicate cookies. Mm. They're very tasty. They remind me of the pumpkin cookies that, or the pumpkin yeah. donuts. You're right. They're like pumpkin donuts. Mm. That's what they're. That can almost the same consistency. They're not. This is not sweet. You think there's all this powdered sugar? Yeah. Now, Richard's saying that they should be dipped in a chocolate ganache instead of coated with sugar. No, then you would kill it. 
the, the, no, no the, chocolate the in chocolate this. The chocolate would probably be a little overbearing. I'm, I'm kind of getting tired of seeing recipes where people are trying to do pumpkin and chocolate together. It does not work because pumpkin's very ethereal. And then even when you spice <laughs> the chocolate, is so intense, it kills the whole taste. But you know what? I think it would be I okay. tried. It never it did not turn good. These are really good. <laughs> and uh, for those... Okay. They're asking for the recipe. My uh, co-worker is asking for the recipe again. So let me go ahead and just... Bring that up. I just have to. I mean, there's two spoon. teaspoons that depends. See, we got our pumpkin spice so, from Pinsies. So, so it there depends were, on your pungency of spice. So, again, spice. That, that recipe is um, you got one cup of butter, a cup of sugar, two teaspoons of pumpkin sp pie spice. Doug would actually bump that up to three teaspoons or a or tablespoon. A tablespoon. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of pumpkin puree. Three cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of finely chopped pecans or walnuts, and we toasted ours. They're really good. I'll have this recipe posted in the um, in the description of the video. And for those of you at work, I can supply the recipe to you. If you're interested in receiving the recipe from us, go ahead and send us an email at peppertreevilla at gmail.com, and we will get a copy of this recipe to you. So... <laughs> Did, did Doug say pungent cookies? He did. No, you're spicy. Pungent. Yeah. So pungent, <laughs> yes. Our, we get ours from Penzies. You can get shillings. I do want to make stuff that is a, a pumpkin spice ex extract out there. I think I have. It's supposed okay. to be really good. So I want to also uh, let's see Doug. Uh, let's see, Doug. Delicate Doug. and very light. Are using yes. the word ethereal to mean extremely delicate in a light way, or it seems too perfect for this world, or as in a solution, having <laughs> <laughs> diethyl ether as a solvent. No, these are very <laughs> delicate and light. They're very ethereal. Thank you, Donna. Thank you for dropping that email there. I really appreciate it. One of our wonderful moderators. Thank you, Donna. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Ben, this past Thursday, you dropped a video about Wong's Chinese restaurant. Tell us a little bit about it. Yes, I did. Uh, Arnie, Doug, and I had lunch uh, last week, and we recorded us sampling different uh, entree items from our local Chinese restaurant of preference, Wong's. It's in Antioch. It's not too far from where Arnie and Doug live, and their food is delicious. They've been around for 50 plus years. The decor of the restaurant dictates that as well. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful experience. Richard says you I can't go love it. Yeah, you Oh, I say a lot of <laughs> things that I can see on here about Chinese restaurants. Yes. Ben, <laughs> ben Tyler Moore? Find. Yes, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Glenn. <laughs> So, but, yeah. uh, no. If you have not seen this week's episode of Life with Ben, please check it out. I'll be posting another episode this coming Thursday, as I do every week, only on PTV. Wonderful. Thank you, Ben. And uh, you guys are lucky because I'm part of that one, too. This coming week. This coming this one week. area is going to be part of it this week. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's another one in the ongoing series of 925 Day. I think they're out of business. You want, want to call we them are... tomorrow. The, oh, the one we went to? Yeah. The one we went okay. to? The one we tried going the one to. We, the one we tried to, we don't know what happened, was boarded up. And then the one yeah. for Saturday, I think they're gone. So you might want to call them to make sure that's not gone. But the one that we went to was actually, well, we'll tell you all about that on Thursday when we see that, when you see that video. Uh, it's going to be another one of the 925 day uh, series that we're doing right now. We have been celebrating the area code in which we live, 925. Culminating on September 25th, we will be asking everyone in our area to patronize local restaurants for breakfast, lunch, and dinner for 925 Day. So we're going to be doing that. Toss my cookies, people. And then we oh, got. And uh, I've been asked about doing a cooking segment on my show, and we'll probably get one of those sometime in the fall, maybe in October. 
But between now and September 25th, we'll be featuring different local restaurants that uh, we would encourage those who live in this area to frequent, especially ramping up to September 25th or 925 day. Exactly. So, uh, Ben, it's going to be great. Thank you so much. It's been a lot of fun. Everyone, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank for you, everybody. For this episode of BTV Live. It's been wonderful to have you with us. We know you have a choice of what you can do on a Monday night. We thank you so much for joining us for this a little portion of it. Ben, thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> I had Chinese last night, and I also went into Michael's. Live in La Vida PTV. Oh, wow. Hi. Living the life in the fast lane. Uh, you'll see us walking into the Michael's. Doing the Moment Michael's. of Groovy tonight, too. So the Moment of Groovy, if you're not familiar with our show, it's the end of our show. You're going to see a little bit of recap of what we did during the week. That's when you're going to see the patio that we have in our backyard. That's when you're running some errands together, having some fun in in general. So uh, you can see Sherry cleaning a table in this one. So uh. Okay. <laughs> I think I got all of our cookies, Dan. All the cookies have been dusted. And with I'm going to keep them in the wonderful. container. And now, would I make this again? Yeah, actually, I would. So, everybody in your area code is working nine to five. Yes, they are, Ben. <laughs> oh, God. Wah, wah, wah. Innuendo iguana there. And Ben, Donna wants you to make Brazilian cheese bread. Oh. That, that that might work. Razi yeah, bites. But, so all of you that have joined us tonight, thank you so much for being with us tonight. We know you have a choice of on Monday night what you can do. We're so thankful that you spent a little bit of your Monday night with us. Uh, I'm Arnie. I'm Doug. I'm Ben. I'm Sherry. Thank you for joining us for this ah, week's episode. No, of I just vacuumed. <laughs> Son of a... Boop. There we go. I got to put my cookies away. Have fun. Watch our video. Love you. Smooches. Bye. Everyone, it's time for your moment of groovy. Good night, everyone. <laughs>